Small Rig has just announced this light right here. This is a very compact, very affordable, yet very powerful light that has a built-in battery. And overall, it's a very interesting light. So in this video, in this week's Gear Friday, we'll take a closer look at it and check out if you should have this in your toolkit. All right, so welcome back to a new Gear Friday video where every Friday I take a closer look at some of my favorite pieces of equipment or at some of the pieces of gear that I don't like at all. And in this week's episode, I'll take a closer look at the Smallerig RC60B. So if you decide to order this light, this is the package that it comes in. I think it looks pretty cool. And now let's take a closer look at what you get. So first of all, and very obviously, of course, you do get the light itself. And the light also does come with sort of a mini protection for the light source at the front. Besides the light itself, you do also get this mini reflector. You can basically just mount that in and then you have, you know, a setup like this. And talking about a setup, it does also come with a mini table tripod and you can screw that in at the bottom. It does have a quarter inch screw. And now basically you have a very portable and very awesome light source. And as I mentioned before, you can basically just turn that on super easily and yeah super compact super lightweight you do also get a very long usb cable that you can plug into the light itself because the way to charge this light and also to plug this into the wall is via usb c so this is something that i really like and then there's one more thing that it also comes with and that is this clamp right here you can clamp this onto the back of the light and this is basically a holder for anything like a power bank that you can plug into your light so that it has a longer battery life basically but that's it that's all that you get inside of the box so now let's talk a bit about the use case for a light like this and in my opinion there are two very cool or maybe even three very cool use cases for this the first one is very obvious since this is very lightweight very compact and it does have a built-in battery you can very easily take this with you on the go maybe attach something like a mini softbox and if you're filming with a gimbal for example and you have a second person holding that light you will have perfect light every time second use case is you can of course use it in a studio as i'm doing right now just attach a very big soft box onto the top of this light source and then you will have a very soft very diffused light as you're also seeing it right now and the third use case and one of my favorite use cases to be honest is you can also use this as a backlight to separate yourself from the background so i'm currently using like an rgb light and this is not an rgb light but it is by color and here on the side you do have a screen and you can basically change the color temperature from 2007 Kelvin all the way up to 6500 Kelvin. And yeah, just placing a light like this behind yourself and create an outline of yourself and separating yourself from the background is something that is very cool in my opinion. So now let's talk a little bit about the light itself. As I mentioned before, it is very small, very compact and very lightweight. It does have 650 grams. So yeah, it's not that big and not that heavy at all, especially if you compare this to like some older lights like the aperture 120d even just you know the plug-in thing that you have to carry with it i think even that is just heavier than this entire light source so that's super cool the entire user interface it's like super easy to use you know but you basically have this very tiny screen here on the side and then you can see the light output you can see um, the current color temperature that you have built in you do also have a bunch of different modes so if you want like a firework or a candle or something like this so yeah everything can be you know dialed in just directly on the light itself and you don't need any you know like remote control or any app or anything like this as i've mentioned before this light does also have a battery built in which is really cool and i think something that you don't see very often these days but small rig is claiming that you can get a battery life of up to 45 minutes and in a
I think it's absolutely great to have that in your toolkit. And just one thing that I wanted to mention here very briefly, in case you're not subscribed, make sure to do so. It's helping out the channel. And this video, by the way, is not sponsored by SmallRig. They did send this over for free, but they're not seeing this video up front. And I can basically say whatever I want. So just so that you know, everything that I'm saying is my true and honest opinion. And in conclusion, in my opinion, there is not a lot that I can say against this. As I've mentioned before, it's small, lightweight, it has a large output of light and also the light quality is very high it does have a cri level which stands for color rendering index which is basically sort of like the quality of the light and the, the value that it has is 97 which is very very good you know maybe one downside that i could be thinking of is the built-in fan i'm not sure if you can hear that i'm holding that to the microphone now so yeah, that is maybe a bit louder than I want it to have. But also if I'm using this as a key light here, for example, I can still use that no problem and also as a backlight. So it's just a bit louder than I would love it to be, but it's also not that bad and very, very comparable to a lot of other options out there as well. So long story short, if you are in the market for a very small lightweight lights that you can also bring with you on the go, but you can also use it in the studio plugged into the wall, I would definitely check that out. I will also link that down below. And in case you have not seen the video where I'm taking a closer look at the Blackmagic video app, then definitely make sure to click this video over there. Bye bye.